Hey crew, it's Pitt. We're back again with another cog debt determination. Today we are going to be doing Burden. Uh, he is a rapper. <clears throat> Somewhat controversial. I've heard one song from him and uh, I was like, I've got to do a type on this guy before I get into reacting to more of his music. Uh, I haven't done a reaction to his music yet. I've only seen the one song, so I, I have an opportunity to go into some of his stuff and we're going to see what he's about. But first, I want to see what his type is. I want to see where his mind's at before we get into it. So we're going to go ahead and swap on over. Before we get started, throw a like down below. It helps feed the algorithm. It does me a lot of good, and it doesn't cost you a thing. Help a brother out. Uh, we're trying to grow the channel, and every little bit helps. Drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, we're in this for the conversation. We're not in this just to talk to ourselves. Uh, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump into Burden, and we're going to see what your boys got going on. Finally. Right off the top, we're already getting control vibes. He didn't just offer, you know, control and direct. <clears throat> he did not just offer up anything there. He's like, he tells him welcome. And he's like, that that's control direct. He, he's not volunteering information and he's staying in his box. You're born in Ohio, correct? Yeah, I was born in Akron, Ohio. Direct. Same hospitals, uh, LeBron. But that's invent that's informative. You know what I'm saying? That's that's your claim to fame. Big I mean that that's what you're gonna be gonna be impressed with is you were born in the same hospital as LeBron. I would not be telling people that. I mean I guess in your genre then then in order to get your name out there that would be a thing, but uh, <laughs> never mind. I'm gonna leave it alone. Also, that LeBron comment, instead of being informative, can be tribe. He he's trying to bounce off the tribe with validation. Uh, we moved from Ohio. From, well, my aunt came when I was like a little kid. I barely like vaguely remember the shit, but like I looked at my mom, my sister. I think like my mom had a boyfriend or some shit, you know, playing that daddy role or whatever. I, was, like, I think her name was like Greg or something. But anyway, my mom was probably I think she was strung out. So. My aunt came and uh, tried to come save, I guess, our lives. So my aunt Tina shot my aunt Tina because she did that. And uh, so we, we moved to Tampa, Florida. That's when we my mom. Okay, this is definitely giving me some informative vibes. He's already gone off in two rabbit holes telling this story. <clears throat> also, as far as the movement goes, he, he, he's in the box, uncomfortable, but he's still moving. We're going to look and see how he plays off with the other guy. But uh, we're, we're seeing more movement now. And this is like this statement here is definitely informative. Uh, and it's also listing specific things, which is things organized. Childhood of one word. <laughs> oh, you want me to organize this thought? This idea. Mm hmm. Hold on. Fast. That's causing stress for him. Uh, to organize the idea that quickly is causing stress. Fast. I'd say it was a fast childhood because, you know, I was forced to be a man fast. You know what I'm saying? I was forced to grow up, live all that, live all that. That young shit fast, cause like the toys and shit and all that. That shit. We were selling weed at eleven. You know what I mean? Like, childhood was fast, but we went straight to. And that's listen a thing. It wasn't an idea. He he, he listed. I was selling weed at eleven. <clears throat> that is a things organized statement. It's not the best example, but it is an example. We're gonna look for more confirmation for things organized. Like that, we came out as they know, we're trying to figure out how to live. 
you dropped out of school, um, in middle school or high school? Nah, well, but, you know, it's crazy because I was doing, they put me on this, they put me on like a <laughs> fucking Ritalin when I was in ninth grade, so I was doing good, you know what I'm saying? I was like doing good in ninth grade. Hey, he's got the movement, but they put him on amphetamines. <laughs> I said, like, then, I don't know, I just kind of fell off that shit. I don't know, I just started riding my bicycle. Good deal. I went for the things, not the ideas. He went to school for the food, which, when you broke, trust me, I know what that's like. Uh, going to school for the food and not the ideas. He wasn't going to learn shit. He was going to eat. Freshman year, the end of that bitch, I think I started like really just kind of you know falling falling away from it. But I went back to school. Though. You know what I'm saying? I went back. I went back and uh, when I was 17, I went back to school and tried to tried to do it again. I even tried to do the, the GED shit at night and all that. And I, I went back to school. It didn't work out for me. Didn't play out for me. I, I tried this and this and this. I'm I'm listing the things that I tried. Uh, I'm listening to school, I'm listening to GED, I'm listening to things, not the ideas. He's not talking about grand ideas. He's not talking about getting new ideas. He's not talking about organizing his ideas. He's talking about these things that I did. Movement. I got my GED. And he's proud of that because it took work. Um, he started listening. And and big props. It, it takes work. It, it's hard to come from below and push your way to the top. It's hard. Ain't everybody a seed, bro. I started listening to Eminem uh, when I was 10. Yeah, Eminem, was my, Eminem was like, took me to me was like that, that dude. Like, don't, even, don't even say nothing funny. Like, I don't know. I just like to teach my hair and shit. I used to want to be Eminem. I started, I started rapping. That's, a, that's an organized thing. So I, could it. I know it sounds funny, but the, the dying the hair is organizing the thing that <clears throat> I see this and I want to be this is an organized thing. Even though I was 10 years old, I was like, yo, I can just hang out with them and them. Like, oh, now, nah, you know, anyway, it just became a passion. That was my, that was my next question. Like, what influence did God want to do? He, he, had me, he had me walking around with bleached hair, hoop earrings, and fucking talking. Listing the things. But I'm, I'm the real thing. I'm getting a good bit of, of self here. He, he seems to want to bounce off the tribe, but it's for his own self. Uh, he's he's listing the things. He's organizing the things for him. <laughs> like it wasn't about sharing the experience with other people. It was about getting it for himself. It's not about the things for other people. It's about the things for himself. Growing up poor definitely influences that type of thing. But. That, that's what it is. He's, he's organizing things for himself. We're going to look for some confirmation before we go into the next part. Well, that's, I think that's a lot of people like my age, like white boys and shit. Like, you fucking fell right into, you know, what the machine created. Right? The machine created some shit. And, yeah, it's easy to fall into that machine. I, I have a somewhat checkered past myself. Don't you? Um, it depends on what album, man, because it was a, there was there was multiple albums. So like from back then, it was the like, first album, the very first, 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 album? first album. Okay, it was it would be um, I think it'd be rock bottom. He's he's organizing the thing real quick, trying to figure out what exactly. But he hasn't thought of that idea before. He's like, wait, the best song. It's, a, it's rock bottom. It's on a Slim Shady LP. That's not really his first album because Eminem came out with that infinite. Here he is listing another thing. But uh, after that, his really breakout album had that uh, My Fault on it. Never meant to give you mushrooms, girl. Remember that shit? Yeah, so, so on that album, I think my favorite one was called Rock Bottom. And that shit was hard. Like, really just, I was like 11, like really getting that real shit. You know what I mean? Like, it's 
rock bottom. So you started hustling around, you said around age 11? Yeah, I think when I was like 11 or so, or some shit like that, like one boy, like probably uh, like an ounce or some shit like that, and broke down a little dime bag, just go to the store and buy a little 80 big little bags and shit, and stuff them up and rip people off, you know, and try to get that, just try to stretch an extra dime out of it and smoke a blunt. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're good here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw my transition on. We're going to go ahead and type this out. Uh, I was expecting to have to go into a couple more of this. These are short interviews. They're only five minutes long. <clears throat> but it looks like we're going to be able to do this in the one. So uh, I'm going to throw the transition on. I'm going to top off my coffee, and we're going to come back and type them out. All right, so we're going to go ahead and type this out. He is things, he is organized, he is self, he is informative, and I'm going to go movement. Uh, he's definitely showing the movement signs, and he's not rigid in how he's interacting with the interview. So we're going to go movement, we're going to calculate this out, and he is going to be an ISFJ alternate. <clears throat> He's going to filter his worldview through his duty. Uh, the strength is the ability to see the job done, and we do it this way for a reason. Uh, the, the strength is your ability to see the job done at 11 years old. He saw what needed to be done, and he did it. You can agree, you can disagree, but he was selling weed at 11. Uh, because he saw what needed to happen, and then he saw what everybody wanted. Uh, F.E. parent is going to feel responsible for the tribe's ethics, uh, knowing the tribe's feelings. People are going to love and hate this. If he sells weed, people are going to love it. And he's going to make money. It is a win-win for him. <clears throat> Any child is going to feel defensive over possibilities. Uh, the weakness is going to be missing other people's intentions and always feeling the need to be in the know. Uh, you, can, you can see that he is definitely gathering the experiences and then organizing the things ti inferior is going to think you're great at determining true or false uh, you actually assume correctness or ignore inputs uh, learn to if you learn logic then you can turn this weakness into a strength uh, ti inferior is what i think it, it, it is i think that this is right and in the inferior slot, he, he's going to have a hard time understanding what he thinks, but he's going to be able to know it. Uh, SE Nemesis, the ch challenge is going to be in dealing with the tribe's physics, uh, <laughs> susceptible to manipulation by distraction. What about that option? Uh, him talking about selling the stuff and then uh, getting into music was about checking out the options and doing what needed to be done uh, that is definitely an SE, SI hero SE nemesis play right there uh, FI critic is going to have a hard time with morals what are my feelings what if my feelings are wrong uh, what I feel doesn't matter anyway realize your feelings have merit as long as you consider other people uh, it's going to have a hard uh, his morals are not going to be the world's morals. It's going to be what I feel, and he's going to kick his own ass over that. Like, he's going to do things that he doesn't even agree with because the effy parent is going to make him want to let other people uh, control the situation as far as feelings go. NI Trickster is going to be unaware of how to choose the right possibility. They have a harder time staying on task and need to work on willpower. That's probably why they put him on the, the meth or the amphetamines back when he was a child. Is having a hard time staying on task. That is not necessarily something that needs to be medicated. Uh, you see way too much of people putting children on amphetamines because they have a hard time choosing the possibility and staying on task. Uh, TE Demon is an interesting one. It's going to undermine yourself by not trusting your own logic. Uh, you're going to bounce into the tribe to see what everyone else thinks more than is probably healthy. Well, definitely more than is healthy. 
You need to understand why you hold your morals. <clears throat> yes, tribe input is important. It is very important to play with the tribe. It is very important to fit in. It is very important to make sure that you are in a useful position. But you cannot let the tribe dictate you. And that is what TE Demon is going to do. It's going to be, everybody else thinks that I should do this, so I'm going to do it so everybody else feels good. That's not the best thing. <clears throat> oh. You, you tend to get in trouble when you let other people pull you where they want you to go. Uh, you'll see a lot of, of people getting into crime because their boys did. That is T.E. Demon. Uh, that's about where we're going to wrap this one up today. Uh, Burden is an ISFJ alt. And uh, it makes sense. Uh, this stack seems to be right. But if you disagree, let me know in the comments below. I am here for the conversation. We are here to learn from each other. Knock and it will be opened. The truth shall set you free. Let us knock and get the truth. With all that being said, make sure you do the things down below. I'm not going to barrel beat you. But uh, definitely check in the next one. We are going to be doing some reacts to Burden's music. That will be coming up. And uh, we're going to let that ride. Uh, Y'all have a blessed day. This has been Pitt's Take, and peace.